How's it going guys? This is Chit and welcome to Destiny Chit Chat. Today I'm going to talk about how you can obtain the year one emblem that Bungie is offering and also some of the controversy surrounding it. To begin, you have until September 9th to complete these objectives, which is plenty of time to do all of these from scratch. First you gotta defeat the Dark Heart of the Black Garden, prevent the summoning of Crota's soul, and capture Skolas in the Vex Citadel. In short, complete all the story missions in the vanilla game and the two expansions. Then you have to make sure you've defeated Atheon, Crota, and Skolas on hard difficulty. Then you need at least one character to reach maximum level, which is actually level 20 and not 30, 32, or 34. Win 100 Crucible matches, 50 public events, and found all the gold chests in the story mission. If you are unsure how many gold chests you actually need, all you need to do is choose the planet and off to the side, it'll tell you how many gold chests you have already. Then you can complete a search on YouTube for the gold chest locations. I know Datto did a great series on it already. Now there has been a bit of controversy within the community about the Year One Emblem. On one side, there are the Day One people who feel the Year One Emblem is not an accurate depiction of the hard work they put into the game compared to someone that may be coming into the game, say, now. Then you have the other side which consists of people who just don't care to get involved. I even seen some posts on the forums of people complaining that there is nothing to show that you are a Day One person. And as I read the responses, I was surprised at how many people felt the same. So allow me to shed some light and give my opinion. First, I'd like to say that I know it may not seem like it now, but in a few years when Destiny 3 comes out and you have new guardians coming into the game asking, hey, where'd you get your emblem? You can proudly say that it is exclusive to people who were there in year one. Remember, this is a 10 year plan and not every player that's there right now is all that there's going to be. People start playing Destiny every day and the player base will only increase in the upcoming sequels and Destiny improves. I believe then will the emblem carry the pride that we all seek from it. Now as for day one people, there actually is something to represent that you were literally there on day one. Three emblems in fact, that you will find in your special orders at the tower. The first is the Founder's Seal, which means that you played the Destiny Beta. Then there's Sign of the Elders, which means that you played the first moon mission in the beta called the Dark Beyond. And then you have Sign of the Founders, which signifies that you were playing Destiny during the first week of its launch. Now these emblems may be on the simplistic scale with monotone colors, but this is how you represent that you were there. Well that's all for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.